Hi guys, today is a Saturday and I have the luxury of time attending my business. Well, you know that this farm is aimed to produce many of this catfish, many of this ducks, many of this chickens, and even the rabbits and this uh, geese. I'm so happy about what is going on here. Aside from we are able to develop our boathouse, we are also doing good with our business. Well, just this morning, I received a call from my staff right there from the pet store and he was informing me that there is somebody who would like to purchase breeder catfish and i'm so happy about this we had a good deal and i was able to sell some 10 heads of this breeder catfish and it has a good price actually So this is what I said, we're doing good with our business and we're doing good with our breeding here in the farm. I am set to grow more catfish here in the mud pond because I believe that when they are thrown in here, they will grow so fast, so big with lesser expenses as to the food. And yesterday, we were able to put in here some 30 heads of the catfish and we will add some more. And this will now become more than 200 catfish that are already here in the mud pan. And we decided to grow them big so that we can serve delicacies out of the meat of this catfish to our future visitors that would be coming over in this farm. You guys may have known that we have hatched our ducklings here. And I was so happy about the result because we were able to hatch 99%. Only one egg was not hatched and I'm so happy about this. All in all, we have 25 ducklings, new ducklings, baby ducks that are actually added to the farm. And we are waiting for another hundreds of ducklings that would be added here in the farm because there are many hen that are now incubating their eggs. So this is what I'm talking about. We are doing here a good business. And many people are asking how much is your duck? How we could avail your ducks? We would like to eat duck meats. Well, in the future, that's gonna happen. And I'm so happy that we only have lesser expenses as to the food. In fact, on a daily basis, I am so proud to tell you that we aim to have zero expenses for the food because we only source out some food that are available in the surroundings like this water spinach, this azola, this grated coconuts that we can just get from the market and even this vegetables. These are the things that we are feeding to our animals here and I would like to encourage everyone that if you are just resourceful enough about the food of your pets, you can do it with lesser or even zero expenses. Tick, tick, tick. Tick. 
Well, I already have learned my lesson. In our previous hatch of this ducklings, we allow them to room around immediately, meaning I just leave this to the mamas to take care of them. But there were actually predators like lizards. Some of them were eaten up by the lizards. So we have to provide now with an exclusive place for these ducklings. And I am sure that with this system, they can survive 100% because they will not be eaten up by the cats, the dogs, and even these uh, lizards that are grooming around, especially during the night. So you will see that they are so active and they are not anymore uh, threatened by the presence of other bigger ducks. And this is also what one of the things that I observe because they are disturbed and they are threatened by the presence of the other bigger ducks. And I know guys that you have followed our geese uh, production here and I'm so happy that we were able to hatch another five eggs but I'm so disappointed by the result because one of the gooseling is actually deformed. The beak of it is deformed. The face is really that bad and I would like to solicit your idea about this. What may have been the cause of this deformity? Is it because of genetics or as a result of inbreeding or it may cause some other reasons? So you can just make comments. I know that some of you have vast of experience about this and you can do some comments. What may be the reason for the deformity of the beak? One of the things that will make us sure that these animals would not go far, meaning they will not walk away. They will not go to other places. It's for us to put food 24-7. I mean, this uh, grated coconuts is actually attracting them to not go far because if they feel that they're hungry, then they can just come back and eat some, some food. And these grated coconuts are already given to us for free because the, the milk of this was already extracted and these are actually waste materials that businessmen could just give it you know freely or maybe they can charge minimum payment but to sum it all these are actually very cheap food that we can provide for our animals and this is so healthy so they can just go and then come back but they cannot go far because the food is here Well, this is my source of exercise. I'm doing it myself. If uh, the climate is good, meaning if it's not that uh, hot, then I will try to do it myself. I love doing things, actually. And aside from it brings us good exercise, it gives us good exercise, it's also beneficial to our soul. We are satisfied with what we have done. I was trying to figure out what would be the best practice to call our ducks there in the pan. I mean, I, I just make a sound and they're already trained to it that whenever they hear the sound, they will go there and eat the food of the catfish actually. But I'm planning to have a church bell so that when this bell rings, this is a signal that food is going to be served right there so that they will just fly in and eat together with the catfish. There's so much to be done here. And we are actually doing well with this boathouse. And you will see that the design is just really fantastic. You know, this bamboo are best materials to achieve good design. You will see here. And Mark is doing his best. <laughs> Say hi, Mark, to our vlog. <laughs> 
and uh, this man is dependable of course and I'm helping him cleaning out this bamboo so that we can finish this area here this portion and it's elegant you'll see and we will put some varnish right here you can make some suggestions maybe it's a natural or this mahogany varnish I don't know and you can make some suggestions so these are the developments that we can report to you and I'm so happy that many people are really following our vlogs and they're excited about another vlogs in another day new vlogs well I'm so happy about your comments and I'm reading that and I'm so thankful for the support you just don't know how you have motivated me to do a lot more so thank you guys for watching i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly only here at dexter's world